<laughs> All right. I'm tr doing my best not to clear my throat. <laughs> um, if you do, just, if you have to say, okay, I'll read it. Okay. Here we have a, uh, a little leopard gecko. Uh, got a phone call a few days ago telling me this one had actually turned very, very dark. We've seen it before and done a fecal before. So far, everything's been negative. But these guys can sometimes actually have some parasites that we won't see. So I'm going to go ahead today and send home some dewormer just to make sure. It seems like whatever it was that caused the darkness was something that could be transitory, kind of like if you'd eaten some food you didn't agree with, like Mexican or whatever. And, you know, you uh, you get it in and through your system and think chances are things will be fine. But we're going to go ahead and send home some dewormer just in case there's something left behind in there. But for all intents and purposes, our tail looks good. Our legs look good as far as dermatitis on the end of the toes. You just need to keep them moist, get a warm washcloth, you know, with some water on it. Just kind of keep it warm, and they usually fall off after several days of trying. Okay. Uh, her eyes are clear. lungs are clear. Inside the mouth looks good. Uh, for all intents and purposes, this is going to be a clear physical exam. I do worry that her being a small lizard and the seasons changing the way they are, that she could easily be uh, looking at when to lace the eggs sometime soon. Okay. So we need to make sure that we're getting everything really calcified and we probably need to have a UVB source somewhere in her tank. Okay, that's the fluorescent bulb that we've discussed once before. Okay, you don't have one of those? a ceramic heat emitter and an underpaint heater. We probably want to get one of these uh, fluorescent bulbs that produces UVB. And since she is one of those desert creatures, I get a desert bulb. Okay. Okay. And uh, put that under in the daytime, turn it off at night, and if she needs the sun and needs to make more calcium, she can. Okay. All right. Any questions? Uh, so you say your tail is at a, you know, an appropriate circumference right now? Um, well, I mean, I've seen fatter, you know, well, so that you, thick all the way to the fatter. end. Yeah, you know, so, but she's got a good store. Um, again, I think that the reason she lost so much body weight and had turned so dark is probably from some kind of enteric thing. Okay. You're not missing any toys or any pieces of the enclosure or something she could have eaten? Um, it's no, causing I, a foreign I body. Pretty clean, you know. I pick up the poop whenever she does it, and, and uh, clean stuff straight. And she has like three high houses at a time, and I, I, I mix them up because she likes the changes. She likes to explore things that she hasn't seen. You know, so. but okay. It's all, you know, one part thing. Well, let's see how this goes. Worst case scenario, we end up getting some uh, some X rays in the future. Um, but for now, I think we just because uh, she wasn't painful when I was picking her up and playing with her. Um, she just didn't like being picked up, but her oral exam looked good, and she's not been vomiting, so chances are I don't think it's a foreign body, but we may want to get some x-rays later on. But for now, let's just get her dewormed to see how well she responds. All right, very cool. We have a plan. Yeah, it's been a very mild winter. Yeah, and so she hasn't been as hungry as she is, usually is during the winter. But, uh, you know, she eats maybe once a week or a week and a half right now. And she didn't eat at all. She, she never eats at all for about three months during the summer. She doesn't lose any weight. The summer or the winter? The summer. She doesn't eat in the summer. She doesn't eat when it's hot. She likes it when it's cold. She doesn't eat when it's cold. I don't know why. She's her own unique person. But it's always been the case with her. I got, oh, by the way, I have her, like, this is what I call her birth certificate. It's actually, a, 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 it's my receipt, but, and then this is the invoice from the last time you saw her, I believe. It was the exam I had meant to bring her log book, because I keep a, a records of, um, you know, when she poops, when, what she eats, when she eats, what the poop looks like and stuff, but I forgot to bring it, but it, it's nothing unusual. She didn't seem to have any diarrhea yet. Sometimes there's, you can tell that there's liquid that comes out with it because she poops on a little um, piece of paper because, you know, they only go in one corner of the plate and that way I can just take it out and put another one in. I am going to say that for a lizard her size, that's some of the smallest poops I've seen in a while, okay? She, she hasn't been eating much. And I don't... The other day, um, because, you know, I know the super worms and the mealworms worms aren't the best, but I, I was worried because she hadn't eaten in a while. And I gave her... Um, uh, uh, darkwing beetles and the adult superworm. I gave her one of the pupil stages of those, and she chomped out on that. Okay. But that was that was uh, maybe three weeks ago, and she just hasn't been hungry much at all. 
But like she was brown, okay, and it scared me that day. Like she had turned a different color, and her tail was skinnier than it is now. It was, and you know her tail was huge before, well over a hundred grams. At this point in time, with just a history alone, chances are there are still some parasites or something in okay. there. Okay. Um, sometimes what'll happen is they may get a bad bug um, with some bad bacteria or something inside the intestine, and that may cause them a little bit of a stomach ache, and that will actually cause them to get the dark color. That's one of the possibilities. Wow. It doesn't seem like it'd be respiratory. If it were, it would have lasted a lot longer. We're but just not enough trouble breathing. Yeah, all oh, that seems perfectly clear. The eyes are clear. Um, but I'm willing to bet you she is have some, having some intestinal okay. issues. Okay. So I cleaned the tank like completely with um, what is it? The, the, it's like the green stuff. The, I don't, I don't know. It's like reptid something. Okay. And I and then I wipe it out with water, and I do that once a month. Change the bedding, which is paper towels. And, you know, so there's nothing, oh, she, she reared up here, and she has a little white spot in there. Um, yeah, she, I saw that. Okay. You got to put that right what there. What's that? Um, that white spot can just be her, her uterus, could be she's making some eggs. Okay. Um, I didn't see that it looked like it was coming to, uh, like we thought, pre, post-ovulatory and pre-ovulatory. I didn't see any post-ovulatory looking to that. Okay. Um, but this could be that time of year that she's trying, you know, that, that she'd be making them. And that could increase that in filling of her belly would mean she'd eat less. Huh? Would that take the stuff out of the tail? Too? It shouldn't. Okay. It shouldn't. But it might be taking up a lot of room in her abdomen because she does have a rather large abdomen. Well, um, she's also quite chubby in general, as you know. But I've been trying, I've been trying to feed her. And she has eaten some beetles. So they're not her favorite. But, you know, if she hasn't eaten in a few days, I'll just see. But she prefers the mealworms, and every now and then I'll give her crickets because every now and then she'll actually eat a cricket. 